On the sensor of my digital camera, I capture the involuntary act of breathing. After a 30 second exposure, what remains are traces of life measured by time and motion. Participants breathe toward the stars, the trees, the mountains, the desert, and all the places they call home. I am earthborn. I capture life breath by breath. I read the words of the last 40 months of my mom's life in her caregiver journals. The words connected me to her daily existence. I photographed all the words and layered them into graphic tapestries of her life, month to month and moon to moon. The practice of reading and weaving words bound me tighter to her life. My cells existed within another human being I floated, I was weightless. I am earthborn and the stars and the moon pull my gaze. First one I would like to start with is the actual process. It's so interesting to me. Can you explain how you discovered it? Well, it, it's kind of interesting that it's, um, it started as a mistake. Uh, my husband and I were vacationing at the Dominican Republic and our favorite time during the vacation was the night beach. We'd lay on the ground, look at the stars, I'd look at the waves and I had a camera with me and a very flimsy little tripod. And I said, well, I'm gonna capture the waves moving. I put the camera on a, uh, a 10 second exposure and put it into the sand and release the shutter. For those 10 seconds, the camera started moving up, up, up into the stars and sinking into the sand. I caught it, thankfully, I didn't ruin my camera. But what happened, um, I looked at what I captured and it was moving stars. And I'm like, this is really more interesting than the wave I kind of anticipated I was going to capture. Mm -hmm. So I look back and I see my husband laying on the beach, looking at the stars and I said, I said, I'm going to put my place my camera on your chest. Do you mind just breathing while I do a long exposure? And that was the first breathing portrait. This is something we, we both share. It's the idea of mindfulness. How would do you find it in your work? A lot of my work has to do with just being present, being aware of one's breath, the air we breathe, and our natural environment. How difficult was it for you to create this work about your mom who, who suffered from Parkinson's disease? You know, it's a, it's a wonderful um, question, Linda, and I think the answers change over time as I've moved through the grieving process. My mom passed in 2015, and I started on the project right away when I was handed the, the amazing journals from her caregivers, which had notations of her daily life. I wasn't always with her um, from such minute things as what she ate for breakfast to what she was watching on TV, if she was happy. Um, so that gave me a way into her existence that I, I didn't have. And so I know that it absolutely helped me move through the grieving process, but also it made me feel so much more connected to her even after she passed. Can you tell us just a little bit more about process? Sure, I am a very process oriented artist. And when I was handed these journals, I immediately wanted to read them because I wanted more insight into my mom's life, things that I missed by not being with her. And so I decided to read the words month by month. And then my, being an artist, I, I wanted to use those words to express what I was feeling at the time. And so as a photographer, I ended up photographing each page of the notes and then decided to use that text, not as a, a, a note-taking device of her life, but to represent her months on a very different scale. that always comes to my mind is why did we choose to collaborate 
40 moons is powerful on its own and just breathe is powerful on its own in their own messages mm -hmm. but bringing it together in one space broadens the mind and different ways of looking how we can be together as people and our inner relationships with each other it's how much we have in common as humans um not amplifying our differences but amplifying our connections and what's important to us and i hope that the people watching this video will think about their friends their connections with the other people around them that they live with that they're friends with that they work with and let's think about what we have in common and let's rejoice that <laughs>